have not long got home from work. I got rained on a lot today, which is why the hair's a bit poofy. I've made myself a cup of tea in my skeleton mug, which is very appropriate because today I am hoping to make my skeleton leaf. So this is a process I started a few weeks ago and I have filmed various bits over the last few weeks, which I am going to show you now. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If we've never met before, my name's Amy and this is Perky Plants. This is a completely different kind of video to what I've normally filmed. I say normally filmed, I've, at this point in filming, I've uploaded one video. <laughs> I've filmed a few, but there's only one on YouTube at the moment. <laughs> but this is, so this is the first video I'm gonna be filming where it's like over a long period of time, so I can't film it all in, all today, edit it and get it up anytime soon. Um, so but I wanted to film this bit because it, it it's important for the process. And basically I want to make one of those um, leaf skeletons with you. I've done one in the past. I'll insert a photo here. Um, yeah, so I want to make a leaf skeleton with you. And this is the leaf I'm going to do it with. Um, yeah, so you can see that it's very dead and very dry. In the past when I've done them, they've not dried out this much. They've still had like kind of fleshy tissue on them. But I've been doing a little bit of like reading and apparently letting them dry out completely is actually quite helpful. So we will do it together and I'll tell you whether it was any easier. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just want to get this, this process started and obviously as we go through you'll see me in lots of different outfits and hopefully the process will be successful. If not, this video may not even go up, but we'll see. Let's start the process now. Okay, so this is a Tupperware jar full of water. It is just water, there's nothing else in there. And that's how I've done it in the past. There are um, like other guides that say you can put different things in there, but I've only ever done it with water, so that's just the way I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna pop that. Oh. <laughs> gonna pop that in there and make sure it's submerged <laughs> might actually need some more water um. put some more water in there actually hang on okay so I have put some more water in there not that you can really tell um, Obviously, as the leaf kind of absorbs some of the water, it'll become more floppy. And what I will be doing, and I'll try and remember to film each time, is I'm going to be checking it and making sure that it doesn't become too floppy and folded over. Like, we need it to be kind of straight as the leaf would have naturally sat. Um, which, I guess, is one con to doing it this way round, whereas... When you put it in when the leaf's already a little bit fleshy still it kind of lies exactly how you want it to um but yes yeah, so i'm going to put the lid on sorry that's probably quite loud and then i'm just going to store it in a kind of dark cool place okay this is my cabinet i'm actually going to store my leaf under there it's not like really really dark but it'll do. That is a variegated string of heart leaf. Um, yeah. So that's it to begin with. I will see you in the next clip, which for me is probably going to be maybe a, a week, a couple of weeks. But for you, it's literally going to going to be right now. So I'll see you then. Hey. So it's the next day, and I'm now just checking on the leaf. Um, it's still curled over as you can see and I'm trying to flip it and flatten it out although it's being really stubborn and doesn't want to straighten out just yet. So now it's a couple of days later and it's still curled over, still not really sitting completely flat but I think we're getting there, I think. Just checking on the leaf skeleton. Today is, what is the date? 
it must be the 22nd, 22nd of August. Um, so it is, it's straightened out, which is great. Just feeling it. It definitely needs to soak a little bit longer. Like when, I think when they're prime, when you kind of rub it gently, the tissue starts to kind of come away on your fingers. But it's definitely, definitely doing quite well. Really staying attached nicely. I'm gonna carry on letting it soak. This is some terrible lighting, but I am just about to check on my skeleton leaf. So I thought I'd check in with you. Yeah. Um, today is September 5th, Monday, September 5th. Let's have a little look, see how it's doing. What are these words? Okay, Monday, September 5th. Ooh. That is looking good. Oh yeah, that is. That is ready. I can feel the like cells. There's no way I'm going to be able to show you. But I can feel the cells kind of just slipping, slipping off. See? Just slipping off without much resistance. Yes, that is nearly ready. Nice. Um, check. Yeah, yeah, that is. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm gonna have to uh, film the rest of that video, aren't I? Has this tail been in the water enough? Is it? Also sticky. Oh yep, yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm gonna plan in creating the leaf skeleton into into my schedule this week. Hopefully, yay! Oh, I'm really excited that it's like ready. I know Steve's been wanting that bit of Tupperware back, <laughs> so it'll be good to finally get it out of there and get it um into a leaf skeleton. See you in the next video. <laughs> Okay, so now that you've seen all of those clips, let's get on with today. So with me, I have my leaf. Still soaking in the same water. I've not changed the water at all. <laughs> um, I'm hoping you'll have seen in the last clip the kind of soft tissue in it. I, I think I managed to capture it quite well. I'll show you again now. I have a plate and I have a tea towel. So all of the kind of videos and bits of like writing I've read about making these skeletons, people use kind of paper towels, but we don't use like paper kitchen towels, you know, the, the thick tissue. We don't have paper towels here and I'm not about to buy a roll just for this. I used this exact tea towel last time and it worked really well and I like that it was dark because I could really see the bits of the tissue of the leaf that I wanted to try and remove and bits of the actual kind of skeleton that I wanted to keep. So I found it really useful. And that's it. I haven't got, I haven't got like any tools or anything. I, so I've, I've done one successful leaf skeleton. I use my fingers and I've got another leaf skeleton that was slightly less successful and I tried a completely different way. So the way I'm doing it now is the way that worked the first time around. So I'm going to move you so that you have a better view of the actual leaf and the process. So I'm going to do that now. Okay. I hope this angle is okay. I think it is. So I've got my tea towel. I've got my plate underneath. Just, I've put the plate underneath because I'm working on wood and the leaf is wet so the tea towel's not going to hold all of the wetness, it will soak through. Um, I'm going to take it out now. Okay, so you can see it in here. This section is where I was kind of fiddling with it. It wasn't yesterday, was it the day before? I can't remember. Today's 
Thursday and I might have been fiddling with it either maybe Monday or Tuesday I can't remember like I was checking to see if the top layer like you can kind of see can you see that bit flapping around there that's like a section of the top layer of leaf that's come away so hopefully hopefully this whole thing is going to go really easily it may or may not but let's just get on with it shall we so I'm going to lift it up carefully and move the water out of the way and I'm going to put it on Ugh. oh no and now I've moved you hope I don't keep knocking you okay so we're on I'm not completely convinced looking at it whether all of it is actually going to be ready but I'm going to try I'm going to try and I'm going to start from kind of this corner where we've already got some and I'm basically just going to rub <laughs> that's what I'm going to do you can see this section here that's the first top layer coming off peeling off quite nicely and I'm literally just going to rub it off onto the tea towel it's almost like there's like three layers you've got the kind of top if I if I'd done my research I'd probably know all these all the names of the layers but you've got the kind of top almost skin layer and then there's an internal kind of fleshy bit and then there's the bottom skin layer and then obviously there's all the, the kind of veins the actual kind of bones of the skeleton as it were left as well um, so yeah, this is, I mean, you can see I'm just gently, gently, gently applying some pressure and moving my finger around. What I will probably do is kind of speed up, speed up and kind of time lapse a lot of this. Sometimes when there's kind of when it's been pushed down onto something, when you lift it up, the back layer kind of peels away. Mm, slightly. Look, that section's looking it's looking really good. Oh I'm excited. Oh, I feel feel lots of pressure to get this to, you know, work and look nice because I'm filming it. But honestly I've tried I've had I've had one successful one, as I've said before. I've had one sort of semi-successful one and I've had quite a few fail so I'm hoping this one isn't going to be a fail really really hoping they're just so easy to rip longer that the leaf is out um, the drier it obviously gets so I do often dip my finger back in to the water that it was sat in and just kind of re-wet an area This top section up here, the kind of bit of the sinus, can be a real pain in the butt because it's so easy to split. Um, I've done that many, many times, and I think I might have even done that on my first one that I consider like a successful one, because once it's kind of sat and like I call it framed in a picture, so once it's kind of sat in that space, you can't tell. But it is really annoying when it happens. Okay, I'm going to try and peel it away again. I'm going to try and do it all in one go and then I think I would like to move it to a different section of the tea towel. I'm hoping I can do that. Let's see. Sometimes we can 
might catch a bit less on the bottom. Ooh, I might have ripped a little bit of the vein in. Oh dear. Oh no. This middle vein is always the hardest to get the cleanest. Like everything really does just want to stick to it. Okay. Oh. Okay. So I've put it onto my hand the way it like facing up the way it was on the tea towel and now I'm going to shuffle the tea towel to a drier section get rid of all the flesh that's in this section and then Try and protect the table slightly. I'm putting a little bit underneath it. And then I'm gonna flip it so that the side that was touching the tea towel before is now face up. And hopefully it comes off my fingers. Ooh. This bit's always so fiddly. Oh no, and now I've knocked you. Woo! Okay, <laughs> it just fell off my hand and you're still wobbling around. Sorry I knocked you. Okay. So you can see all of it. It looks like this section has slightly split, which is what I was worried about and I was mentioning earlier. But I think it could hold together. So now I'm going to try and get the rest of this off from this side. So I've got the water. destroying all the veining or not in this process okay so I'm going to try and pick it up again <laughs> and hopefully it's as intact as it was when I put it down the second time okay okay Again, I'm going to find a dry patch of the tea towel. It's going to get harder and harder. Okay. So this is now back to the like kind of original face up. Ooh, get off my finger. Okay. So these bits are being <laughs> they're being really stubborn. <laughs> Don't think I've ever had this much left on one before. Uh. Okay, my mic died whilst I was kind of waiting for it to dry and get my brush. Uh, so I hope you can hear me as well as with the mic. You might be able to hear me better, I'm not sure, to be honest. But um, I've got a little double-ended double makeup brush. Um, it isn't the completely cleanest, but it's just a little bit of sparkly eyeshadow and a little bit of sparkly eyeshadow will never hurt nobody. So we'll, uh, we'll get to it. I'm just dabbing in the hopes that it's going to kind of just push, push those little bits off. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Maybe I need a rougher brush. Is this too soft? Oh, it is fucking so pretty though, don't you think? Like this section is particularly beautiful. Just like pushing it in a few times. <laughs> it's not coming off. 
I'm gonna get a rougher brush. Okay, I have an old toothbrush. <laughs> this may be too rough. Fingers crossed it's not. I'm too scared to rub it. I'm just tapping. It's gentle, gentle scrape the words. Maybe gentle scraping is the way. So I'm just very, very, very carefully trying to scrape that fleshy layer off of my nail. I'm hoping I can loosen it enough to then brush it away. Did that work? Sort of worked. Did it? Am I kidding myself? Can you even see it? I feel like it sort of worked. gonna get it it's really hard hang on let me can you still see it underneath mm. all of these bits are so hard to get off Okay, this is what I'm left with at this stage. I'm not really sure how much more of this I can get off without like destroying too much of the veining. Like you can see, you've probably seen it already, it's kind of popping apart. So, you know, I'm dubious about doing too much more in this section she says removing another bit um i don't think it's too bad i think i've done pretty well to be honest so now the question is do i leave it like this and put it on some uh, black paper or do i try and dye it black somehow and put it on white paper I have to think about how I dye it black. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to take a picture of this and put it on my Instagram stories and ask people to vote whether I should leave it or if I should make it black because I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm gonna let it settle for a little bit. Um, and I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. Like I'll do the finishing kind of framing it or dyeing it letting it dry and then framing it tomorrow so that's what i'm gonna do so if you're following me on instagram hopefully you would have seen this because obviously this is going to be going this video is going to be going up a little bit after um if if you follow me on instagram hopefully you would have been able to vote to which one you want me to do next um and if you don't follow me on instagram maybe hop over and give me a little follow but this is where we're at I'm really pleased with it. They're so, so, so beautiful. Really, really beautiful. So yeah, okay, that's it for this part of the video. I will see you in the next one. Hello! Today is, what day is it? You don't need to know. I'm back. It's the next day. Um, so I asked on Instagram and I was quite surprised by the results. I was leaning towards dyeing it black and having it on a white background and I thought people would wanna see that. <laughs> but here's the results of the poll. 
I think at the time of filming, it might have changed by the time I clip it up, but at the time of filming, it was like 84% people said, leave it natural and put it on a black background. And 16% said, dye it black and put it on a white background. So I'm going with the majority. I'm not gonna dye it, I'm gonna leave it natural and I'm gonna put it on a black background. And I do really want to, I do really want to try and do the the dyeing it black and put it on a white background. So I will be doing this process again and like let me know in the comments if you want to see the kind of dyeing process. Like I won't film the whole make turning it into a leaf skeleton again, but if you want to see the dyeing the skeleton black part let me know because I'm not sure I'm not completely sure how I do it <laughs> but let, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that and uh, so I have I have the leaf skeleton I have no idea if you can see that um, it's completely dried out now it is very fragile there is a gap here but when it's led down you can't see that so that's good I've got I've got that I've got my black square my black paper is literally just some black paper that I've ripped out of a black notebook that I've had probably since I was in school <laughs> and then I have this frame this was 5 dollars from HomeSense and I've cut the I've cut this black square so that there's still like a little bit of the glass because I like the glass detail so I didn't want to lose that so you can so there's like going to be black frame clear glass black paper with the skeleton leaf on i've also got some double-sided sticky tape um so the last time i did this i i don't think i secured the leaf i think i just put the leaf onto the black paper and then like smushed it into the frame but because this black paper doesn't fit directly within the frame i'm worried that if i don't secure it it could end up slipping down I don't want to secure the leaf to the paper so I'm hoping it will feel it will kind of get smushed between the paper and the glass but I have had like frames like this before where the, the photo or the like papers kind of shuffled downwards and I don't want that so I've got some black paper and uh, not black paper double-sided sticky tape to secure the black paper to the glass and I've got some scissors some scissors for my double-sided sticky tape um so let's just get to it i'm going to change the angle so that you can see um that's it okay you can see me hi um i've got this is the bottom layer of the glass and i'm gonna leave this here because I, I don't really care <laughs> but this is the bit of black paper I think I might have just hit the mic. I'm sorry if I did. This is my double-sided sticky tape. So I'm just going to take, like, it doesn't need to be big. It needs just the smallest amount, really. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to pop it on just the top, really. The top of the, oh, you can't see. The top of there. There we go. Okay. I'm going to try and get this as central as I can. There we go. Make sure that the bit of tape is secure. So I'm just going to place the leaf skeleton as central as I can. in the middle obviously it's not going to lie flat until that next bit of glass is on it does just fit into this black bit um, so now the next piece of glass goes on okay and can you see that this bit at the bottom is closer to the end than this bit so I want to try and shuffle it up slightly
Okay. That is it. I'm not moving it again. <laughs> so frame. I'm going to have to pick it up. And I definitely moved it. really tight. I can't move that one. They're all really tight and definitely need to loosen these a little bit. There we go. Yay! Okay, let me change position again. And I'm done! I hope you can see it and it's not just like completely reflecting off everything. Um, I will get some like close-ups of it. I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really good. I might even like find a space for it and then show you where I've put it. But yeah, that's it. That is how I make leaf skeletons. Um, I did say at the beginning, um, so, oh God, it was so long ago now, but the leaf that I used was completely dried out. And um, when I've done it before, I've put the leaf into the water while it was still quite fleshy. Um, and I'd read that doing it when the leaf is completely dried out is actually easier. And honestly, that was way easier than the first time I did it. <laughs> um, I would have shown you like the other leaf. It, I think it was an Anthurium Crystal Mag, maybe, leaf that I did. But it's got a lot more kind of detail in the skeleton. Uh, and, and maybe that made a difference. I don't know, but that that one was so much easier to do. I think it probably did have um, something to do with it completely drying out and then being like rehydrated. So that is what I'll be doing next time. And there will be a next time because I do want to make a black one. But uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please, please, please let me know if you make a leaf skeleton. If you do and you put it on Instagram, please tag me. I would love to see them. Um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already thanks for being here bye